Hi, my name is John Hatch, and this is a fifth, sixth grade math lesson on volume of right rectangle prisms. And what you'll need for today is a math notebook and a pencil and a four function calculator. And if you need to go get that at this time, uh, go ahead and we're going to go over the standards for today. The first one is GMA2, find the volume of right rectangular prisms. GMA2A, understand that the volume of a right rectangular prism can be found by filling the prism with multiple layers of, of the base. GMA2B, apply volume equaling length times width times height and volume equaling B times H or base times height to find the volume of right rectangular prisms. All right, and as we see right here, there is a reference sheet. So if you are asked on a test to be able to find the volume, there will be a reference sheet. So you don't have to memorize the formula of, of or the to be able to find the formulas to be able to answer these. But it is always a good thing to be able to have those kind of tucked away, and then that way it makes it a little bit easier, and you know you're getting it as you're doing those math problems. All right, so let's take a look at this. As a review, uh, base is the same as area. So on this, we have 6 times 3 equals 18 square inches. So to find the volume of rectangular prisms, we have this one right here that shows that the base is 5 times 2, which equals 10 square inches. And at this point, I'm calling it square inches because we're only talking about one level. We haven't had any height yet. So at that point, it's still square inches. So if we look at it as having the height of one, we can see it as the formula being the base 10 times the height of one, which would give us 10 cubic inches. So we go from it being a flat square to a cube. So that's, that's how we take care of those. Let's look at this one. On this one, we have a base with a, and the base is like length and width. So we have two right along here, and we have two right along here. So our base is two times two, which is four square inches. But how tall is it? And when we look at that, we can see that it is five high. So we do the base four times the height of five, and that gives us 20 cubic inches. On this next one, we can see that in the base that there is a three and a four along that side so we have three times four equals 12 and the height when we look at it the height is three so on that one we when we do three times four equals 12 and the height is three then we get 12 times three equals 36 cubic inches so that's uh how we how we solve finding the volume of right rectangular prisms and let's try some together. So here's our first one. When we see this one, we have a base that's four on this side right here and five on this side right here. So four times five equals 20. And we're just calling it square inches right now. We can see that the height is two. So when we write this out, we're gonna have 20 because of the base times two for the height and that equals 40 cubic inches. Well, let's look at, whoa, look at this one. There are three different shapes there. Oh man, this one will be fun. So on this first one right here, we have a base that goes one, two, three, four, five. And right over here, it's one, two, three, four. So we have five times four equals 20 square feet. And on this one, we have a height of three. So we're gonna do 20 times three equals 60 cubic feet for this one right here, prism one. And right over here, we're gonna just kind of keep it right there and say that it's 60. For the second one, we can see that the base is two right here and three along here. So two times three equals six square feet. We can see that the height is four. So we now have six for the base times four for the height equals 24 cubic feet. So we're gonna uh, put that one right up here that says that uh, prism one is 60, prism number two is 24. Let's go to this third one. It's this one over here on the right. 
and the space down here we can see that there's only one on this side two on the side one times two is two square feet and when we see that the height is six we can now multiply it as two for the base times six for the height equals 12 cubic feet all right now we're not done yet because we have those three prisms but we have to add them all together so we're going to take prism one prism two and prism three and we add that as 60 plus 24 plus 12 and we get the answer of 96 cubic feet all right well let's look at this one whoa this one they give us the whole volume 840 inches cubed and they give us the height of 10 inches they give us one side as seven inches but that other side is x oh man well i remember that we have to multiply all of these so let's write that out first we have the base seven times x times 10 equals 840. well let's get rid of the 10. so we're going to divide 10 on both sides and that gives us seven times x equals 84. well let's get rid of the seven now and we're going to divide both sides by seven and that's going to give us x equals 12. so that side over here means that it's 12 inches all right well let's look at this it's your turn and so with this we have these three shapes right over here we have one right here and that's a rectangular prism this is a rectangular prism and we have two rectangular prisms right here and we're going to give you about uh two minutes 15 seconds to be able to answer those and come up for the volume of those all right good luck Right, for the base for the first one we can see that it's three right here we can see it's three right here so we have three times three is nine the height is four so we have the base of nine times four is 36 cubic inches all right let's go into the second one on this one we have a base of six and on this I'm sorry uh, the length right here is six and the width is four so six times four is 24 we have the height of three so 24 times 3 is 72 cubic inches all right on this last one 
there's two parts to this. The first one, the base is five times four, and we come up with 20. The height is two. And so 20 times two is 40 cubic inches. For the second one, the base is four times two, and that's eight. The height is two, so eight times two is 16. And so we have to add those two. We have 40 plus 16 equals 56 cubic inches. And if you got that, you did an awesome, awesome job. All right, so we've been doing a lesson on the volume of right rectangular prisms. And um, you found out that all it is is base times height. And base many times is just, well, not many times, every time. It's just length times width. And so you'll have this formula sheet right here that will help you out. So there's no reason to kind of freak out and get nervous about it. So thank you for being a part of this lesson today and have a great rest of the week.